Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and cover how to install the drivers for the Orinoco uh, 9100 USB on both Windows 10 and Windows 7. Uh, the process is the same, okay, but uh, we're going to go through on Windows 10 for now. Uh, so we are going to go to uh, support.proxima.com. Right? We're going to go down to uh, downloads and we're going to scroll, scroll down to client cards and then here's the Orinoco USB. Uh, here we're going to have uh, different driver versions for different operating systems, Windows 10, uh, 8, 8.1, and Windows 7. Okay, It says drivers only. That's extremely uh, important because we do not have an executable. Okay, What we're going to have is a zip file. Okay, And when you unzip them, it's going to be these two files, either 64-bit uh, or uh, 8x86, which is 32-bit. Okay, uh, you're gonna have to find out what version you have, but if you install the wrong version, it's uh, it's gonna uh, error error out on you. Okay, during the installation. Okay, so uh, next thing we're gonna do is insert the USB client. Okay, so with the newer versions of Windows 10, you could see it popped up automatically. There are built-in drivers in here. Okay, these are directly from. Uh, Realtek, okay, they say Orinoco, but they are Realtek drivers. So if you look at uh, properties and drivers, okay, you could see that uh, this says Realtek, right? But uh, this is the more important piece right here. It's uh, the driver version, okay? Uh, now, what's missing? Uh, it's going to be uh, one of the biggest things is roaming, okay? Uh, Rants uh, roaming parameters that we have in our drivers. If you do not need that, then um, you could go ahead and stay. Um, I always recommend to be an approximate driver, but these drivers work. So, if you're going to want to update the drivers, uh, really simple. Uh, just go ahead and do update driver, uh, browse, list. I like to do it this way. Click on half disk browse okay and then you can kind of see I'm already in my folder right this is a 64-bit system click on the only one that pops up which is the INF file click open okay okay now right off the bat you 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 kind of see the difference between them we click next it's gonna install the driver Okay, and that's it. It says uh, the driver has been updated to your device. We click close. Okay, and we close one more time. Okay, so now we're going to go back into properties and we click on driver. You could see that before it was uh, 1030.6, now we're at 1030.2. But uh, one of the major things is when you click on advance, we have uh, roaming levels and things like that. So uh, it's a fairly simple process. Okay, uh, if you ever um, have any issues, uh, by all means, uh, contact Proxim Technical Support. About Proxim Wireless and our solutions, please visit us at Proxim.com or follow us at Twitter at Proxim.